And welcome back to Atreyu News. CNN's Farik Zakaria just had a total meltdown live on air. Triggered by Trump. Remember, this is the idiot, one of the idiots, who said Trump would never win the election, remember? <laughs> President Trump has triggered the clowns over at the Counterfeit News Network so bad that Fareed Zakaria just went into a profanely filled rant live on the air, swearing not just once, not twice, not three times, but even more. I don't like to have profanity on my channel, but I'm not going to bleep this out because I want you to hear exactly what went out on the airwaves of the Counterfeit News Network. I think the president is somewhat indifferent to things that are true or false. He has spent his whole life bullshitting. He has succeeded by bullshitting. He has gotten the presidency by bullshitting. It's very hard to tell somebody at that point that bullshit doesn't work because <laughs> look at the results, right? But that's... <laughs> look at your network! <laughs> Don Lemon just sitting there, he hasn't even said anything. He'd be like, um, excuse me, sir, uh, this is my show and you've swore four times now. By the way, Fareed Zakari is not just a guest, he actually hosts his own show on CNN. When you're working in live television or you're doing live radio interviews, at some point in your career, you're probably going to slip up and swear. Possibly even more than once. It happens in the heat of the moment. But the clowns at CNN are so upset about President Trump that now they can't even help but start swearing when they're talking about him. There was a pattern here and a term for a person who did this kind of thing. A bullshit artist. There's a term for this kind of thing. This is the mode of a bullshit artist. And the stench is now overwhelming and unbearable. You just keep it up, CNN. You're doing great. You're more entertaining than Comedy Central. I'm Mark Dice. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and check back here every day for new reports. And I'll see you soon. Well, there you have it. The Clown News Network. Another hypocritical thing. Allow swearing against the right, but not against the left. More hypocrisy. No surprise there. New Jersey just passed a bill that could change elections forever. New Jersey just passed a bill that would make it a requirement for presidential candidates to release their tax returns. It is now up to Chris Christie to sign it into law. The AP reported President Donald Trump might not make it on the ballot in 2020 in New Jersey if he doesn't disclose his tax returns under a bill approved by lawmakers. The Democratic-led Assembly on Thursday approved the legislation inspired by the Republican president's failure to disclose his tax returns, despite state Republicans claim the bill was transparently political and blatantly unconstitutional. It now heads to the Republican governor, Governor Chris Christie, a longtime Trump ally, to sign or veto Chris Christie's office decline to weigh in. Fascinating. How Hillary Clinton is allowed to run being an international criminal that could face consecutive life terms in prison if she was actually brought to justice, yet they want tax returns. Well, we don't care about that stuff. If you're a criminal, well, we don't care about that. We just want to know about your tax returns. It makes a lot of sense. CEO creates snowflake survey. Future employees must pass for a job. How funny it must be. That my kids and other people's kids will easily surpass these snowflakes because they're weak-minded and idiotic morons who would cry at the drop of a dime. I feel grateful that these people exist because they will offer almost no competition to my kids and people that are actually strong in the world. So yeah, good to know. Losers, all of them. You know, I wanted to be able to have uh, individuals work for my company who would sort of fit the culture, not just the culture of our company, but the culture of our clients, too. And we needed to have people who aren't snowflakes. Right. I'm looking for people who are not entitled, who don't have this sense that uh, they should just be handed things, but people who have that entrepreneurial mindset, who are willing to think outside the box and who are willing to work for everything that they have. Uh, we've got 21 people on the team right now. We're looking to increase that by 50 percent over the next uh, 60 days and double that in the next six months. So if people want to apply. Where do they go? Silentpartnermarketing.com or follow me on Facebook. Awesome. With an elite force of entrepreneurs, they will easily surpass a team of snowflakes. Easily. 
and the bankrupts will just rack up, I'm sure. What these snowflakes don't realize is that they live in an alternative reality that has nothing to do with here on Earth. I'm not sure what fucking planet they're on, but it is not Earth.